This is our new goat pasture pen thing. We have four 16-foot cattle panels bungee corded together. This setup we have is not permanent. We wanted to change the bungee cords to special clips or carabiners or something, but we don't have those yet, and I figured why not try it now. So the bungee cords do work for now, though they are difficult to undo and redo whenever you have to get in. We picket our goats a lot, and while that works very well for, you know, steep hillsides where, you know, you can't have fencing or a flat thing, it is nice sometimes to just be able to have a pen where you don't have to, you know, measure and make sure they don't get tangled in things. And having pickets also kind of limits you because if there's something they could get tangled on, then you can't put them over there. Whereas with a pen, you don't have to worry about that because they don't get tangled on anything. So we got these cattle panels and we have been for, I think we started yesterday, trying out having a pen, and it does work. We are still getting out all the kinks and testing our limits of what we can do. We, I was cutting a bit close, moving it over here. There's like a little drop off in this section is open, and I think all the goats got out. Um, yesterday we found them, we were checking on them regularly, and at one point they all got out, and but it was like raining really hard, and so we just put them in the barn for the day, and it worked out okay, but um, we are still figuring out the kinks, and this is by no means a, yes, this completely works all the time video, it's a, we're trying this out, and come learn with us type of video. So, because we don't have our shade structures built yet, we are using these dog igloos, which are very heavy and difficult to drag around, and we have a water bucket, and then the panels, and today we're going to move them around so they can eat the, I think it's a multiflora rose bush. It's really big, right by our wild blackberry patch, and we don't really need it there, and the goats don't really have anything else to eat because spring is just starting, and a lot of this stuff isn't growing, you know, a ton all at once yet, and it'll give us more room for the blackberries to grow. So we're going to put them there and see if they like it, and hopefully they eat it all down and it's amazing. So yesterday I set up the cattle panels for the first time here at the back of our garden right here and then I scooted them over halfway through the day because they'd eaten everything and that's when they started escaping from the little corner because it's too slopey. So now I have to figure out the best way to move them a long distance. I guess I could take them all apart and move them one by one or maybe just take you know this corner apart and drag a whole line of them leaving them connected or I don't really want to like drag them all in a pen because that'd be really hard. So hmm Maybe let's try them all, and then we can always separate them if it's too hard. So for the bungee cords, we have it attached to one, and then we wrap around the connecty, and then go to the other one. So we have to undo it, unwrap it, and then you just stick it here so it doesn't get lost. So I have them now in two sections, two kettle panels each, so I'm going to try dragging the two 32-foot sections instead of one huge one and um, that might make it a little bit easier i have them all laid out so now i can drag them pretty easily hopefully so here we are i have the first two up and boy that was kind of hard so let me go whew, let me go grab the other two and then we'll be right back okay so now we have all the cattle panels ready i'm gonna go grab my boots real quick because they're because there are a lot of thorns over there, and I want to make sure I'm protected, and I'll be right back. Okay, so that was really hard. <laughs> many thorns, but I was able to fence off the rose bush without getting too many of the blackberries that we wanted to keep around it. I looked at the weather this morning, and it's supposed to be cloudy and overcast and cool, but very low chance of rain, so we're not going to move any shelters or houses in there. And if it does start raining, we can bring them in because we don't really have room to put them in the middle. If you put them by the side, they can easily hop out of the fence. So they're going to be without shelter today, but we'll keep a close eye on make sure they're okay. Water is in. Now let's get the girls. So the goats have started to enjoy this multiflora rose plant. And I'm guessing that last time they got out, they got out by pushing like their heads through and then walking until one of the corners, um, you know, how there's a little dip until the dip was big enough for them to get through because they keep trying to, you know, they stick their head through and they try to push but it doesn't work. So it looks like now they've given up though and are enjoying their delicious food and getting rid of an invasive species and doing a very good work. So I'll come check on them several times today and especially because we're just trying this way of fencing them but it has been working good so far, and hopefully it continues to do so.
All right, let's see them. We can see the goats from this window. Let's see how they're doing. Okay, it's easier to see in person, but they're like right over there. And I don't see any goats escaped, which is good. And I, from the ones I can see, it's kind of hard. They're laying down. So that's also a good sign that they're fat and happy. And hopefully we go down there and everything's going well. Oh, wow, they've done a lot of work. This entire thing, there's a lot more to do, but they've eaten a lot of those stuff just like this morning. That's awesome. They all look very fat, which is good. And they still have water, they still have plenty of food. They got to the middle of the patch, right there, you can kind of see. So there's like a little middle area where all the stems come from and then they all come up. So they've gotten to the middle of that, which is good. This will be a few days eating for you, huh? It'll be good, huh? And then if they get bored of the multiflora rose bush, they can come and stick their heads through and eat other stuff too. A little bit, huh? But they're too big to fit through the bars. They've been trying, like trying to squeeze their body through the bars, which is, they're like super small, but these goats, but they can't, thankfully. Well, I'm gonna leave you girls to it. Seems like you're doing a very good job. No escaping, no, you know, mowing at me because you're hungry and everything's going well, so I'll come maybe check on you later, but maybe I'll just, you know, leave you to it. Well, today was a success, both with the pen we have and the goats eating our invasive weed. It's evening now, so I'm going to bring the goats in. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!